hype cards. And yeah, I, I gave myself some good cards for the learning game, right? I want to remind you that we are starting in quick mode, which means that Zoe is already on four, okay? So first part of my turn is regroup. Now, this basically means that I can discard a card to draw a card. So should I do that? I'm going to look at my hand, and I'm either going to have a hype card that maybe has a number that's way too high for me to play and I can get rid of it, or I might have a tag card that has a pair effect that moves me down. And in the first part of the game, like I don't really want to go down. So I'm going to get rid of Cheap Shot. And I'm just going to draw another tag card. Ah, another push. I have a lot of push in my hand. So the next phase, Hype Step. So do I have a Hype card I want to play? Sass cards, I'm just kind of hanging on to. They respond to things that my opponent does for the most part. So I'm just going to hold on to that. But here's a good card. It's a two plus, so I can play it because I'm at four. Get Riled lets me choose to move up two, which is exactly what I want to do right now, or make an opponent move up one. Well, I don't want to move Jay Howe up right now, but if I had this card later in the game, I might want to mess with him and play it on him. So for now, I'm just going to set it down. I'm going to say, I'm playing Get Riled. I just give him a chance to see if he has a sass card to respond. I don't, or at least I don't have one I want to play. Okay. <laughs> so because he has no sass card, Get Riled happens. I get to move up to... I'm already at six, think. And now I'm gonna tag. So the first thing I do is I move the target here, and now I'm gonna play a tag card into my field. I do the primary effect, which is draw a card. I'm gonna draw another tag card. And because I'm not making a pair, I don't get the pair effect. My turn is over. Over to you, Jay Howe. Whew. Okay, my turn. Um, come on over. So look at what I have here. I don't want this guy listening in. Um, let's see, regroup. I think I'm gonna discard this card because again, it's a down move and I don't want to make down moves right now so I'm going to get rid of it and I'm going to see if I can get another uh, hype card that I like okay that's a good card but I'm going to play it later so hype step I can play one hype card I'm going to play this card it's a one plus and I'm at four so I can play it this is Donnie he's one of the kid referees so I'm going to play it in my sideline with Donnie in play he cannot steal cards from my hand and there's a tag card that lets him steal cards from my hand so that's going to shut him down so I just play this, it's a character, and character cards stay in play until somebody messes with them. So I get it, ha. All right, now I'm gonna tag. So I do this, and I'm gonna play Shoulder Check. Now, Shoulder Check is, basically forces my opponent to discard a card from their hand, and if I make a pair of it, it moves me up two. So I play Shoulder Check, and I'm like, Jay How, it's time for you to discard. Okay, fine, I'll discard. Uh, I have like three pushes, so I'm just going to discard one of those. So that's basically completing his turn, and then it's your turn. You go for it. So I'm going to go right to tagging, and I'm going to tag, and I'm going to play another push. So I draw a card. I always draw the card, so I'm going to draw another tag card. And now, because I made a pair, I get the pair effect, so I get to move up one. Unless he has something to say, but he would let me know if he did. So now, it's back to Jay Howe. Jeez, this guy doesn't seem to have a very high opinion of me. Like, I have to school him on the playground. All right, it's my turn. Uh... You know, I think I'm going to get rid of this push card because there's a lot of these in the deck. I'm going to discard that. And again, I can draw from either deck, but I'm going to draw a hype card. And, ooh, I drew a really good sass card. Now, I have to wait till the right moment happens to play that. So I'm just going to kind of tuck that away. And I'm going to move to my hype step. I have a three plus that I can play. Sugar binge. Look at this guy. He's either excited or he's vomiting. That sounds like playground to me. All right, so I'm going to play that. And that's going to let any player move up or down one. So I could force my opponent to move up or down one, or I could let myself move up or down one if it says any player, right? I'm gonna move myself up one, so I'm gonna do that. Oh, actually, I'm gonna play Monkey See, Monkey Do, which I can play because it's a sass card, even though it's not my turn. So I'm gonna put that down. That says I can copy a move just made on an opponent's hype meter, so I'm gonna copy that. Uh, not so fast. Uh, I also have a sass card. And yeah, you can play chains of sass cards. So I have a card called whatever, and I'm going to just play that here. It doesn't really matter where you play it. You can kind of just set it down so it can be seen. And I say, block any card played by an opponent. Well, that could be any card. It could be a hype card of any kind. It could be a tag card. And usually when you block a card, that means nothing happens. Ha! And it goes to the discard pile. Now, whatever also says... I block it and I return it to that player's hand for the rest of the turn. So that's sort of saying like, I'm gonna block it. It's not gonna do anything, but it does get to go back to his hand. So boop, 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 put that back in your hand. All right, I'll put this back in my hand and whatever says I have to keep it in my hand for the rest of the turn. But 
I'll get you with it later. And then this card is done and it goes to the discard pile. But because I got rid of his monkey see, monkey do, he doesn't get to copy my move. So I also put this in the discard pile. And now I move on to tag. Can you tell I'm happy about that? Sometimes there's these great chains of sass cards, sass, sass, sass. And then you just have some fun, like kind of trying to stop each other and copy each other's moves. It's a huge part of the game that is fun. So I'm gonna tag you and I'm gonna play replay. And replay duplicates the last tag card that I played, which was shoulder check. So I play this here, I'm forming my field row, and this is basically a chance for me to play another shoulder check. So I'm gonna do everything that shoulder check says. Tag player discards a card, boop, boop, do that. Ugh, they hate discarding. Well, I have two of these, so I'm gonna discard this. And because I made a pair, I get to move up two. So replay is always a copy of the last card you played. And if it finishes a pair, you get the pair effect. Yes. And now it is your turn. Okay, back to me. Now, you'll notice we're both getting kind of low on cards, which means like if I get to the end of my turn and I can't tag, I'm going to have to call a timeout, which generally is bad for me and good for my opponent. So I'm going to try to like stay in it. So come on over here. I'm going to regroup that. I'm going to draw a hype card. I'm going to hope that I get a good one. Ooh, so I drew a hype card. This is Boss of You. It's a mischief card that lets me remove a character. But because I'm at seven or higher on the hype meter, I can actually reposition that card instead, which means I can move it over to my sideline. He's going to love that. So I'm going to play Boss of You. I can see that my opponent does not have any sass cards by the look on his face. And I'm literally going to grab Donnie and I'm going to move him over to my side. And now j Howe can't steal from me. This gets discarded. And I'm going to tag. And now, because Donnie is gone, I'm going to play Ambush. And I can steal from j Howe because he doesn't have the protection of this character card. That was a good turn. So I'm going to reach over and I'm going to steal a card from j Howe randomly from his hand. And now it's going to be j Howe's turn. Oh my god, Kate. I only got one card left in my hand. This is, this is the worst part. It's, it's very tense. Look, at least I have a tag card because I have to finish my turn by tagging. So, uh... The problem, though, is this is an ambush, which lets me steal a card from Jesse, but he's got Donnie, and that says I can't steal from him. So I'll be able to tag, but then I'll have nothing left. So I'm going to regroup this to try to get a better tag card. Here we go. Well, it's not necessarily better. I got a collision. And collision says tagged player skips their next regroup step. So at least I can tag. We'll have to see what happens with this bozo over here. Oh, my God. So I got two cards left. He's out of cards, which means all I have to do is tag j Howe, and j Howe is a sad sister, okay? All right, here we go. Now, oh no. Okay, uh, shoot, I just realized I have two sass cards in my hand, and he just played a tag card that says I can't regroup, which means I cannot trade one of these in for a tag card. I cannot tag to end my turn. So he literally just got me. You got me. He got me. <laughs> In your face. j How does it again. <laughs> yeah, take note of the fact that even though I was out of cards, because I could tag, hey, I was still in it. You can't just assume that he's got the cards to make the play because he didn't. <laughs> so that means I have to call a timeout. Timeout. So why is timeout so important? What happens there? And what are these cool, unique character traits at the bottom of the hype meter? And what do we do with these amazing older kid cards? Tune into our next video and we'll go into the next level strategies for those things. We're going to have some fun. See you soon.